Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be reviewing all the products we picked up from Miniso, my current favorites and how I grow my nails longer, faster <laughs> and all of that spiel. So let's get started. So very quickly, I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I picked up. Uh, the hairbrush and the facial brush, the white one. I picked up previously so just very quickly I'm just gonna show you this is what the packaging looks like front to back if you want to pause and have a look definitely do that uh, this is the exfoliating brush this is what the box looks like front and back I unfortunately threw away the box for either one so very quickly I'm just opening it so we can get that out of the way <laughs> and get started So really quickly, we just have these two types of uh, finger facial cleansers and the handheld one, rather the finger held one I would just call it because the other handheld one has the handle on it. So I was just looking at the different types, uh, the bristles are of dif different thickness and this is the body exfoliating scrub and uh, it opens up so you can wash it and disinfect it so quick pointer is always disinfect wash every item you get that you're going to use on your hair or matter on your face i'm not talking about soaps and liquids <laughs> like physical like uh tools definitely have to do that so these are all going to go get rinsed properly and then i'm going to start using them so to start off uh the hairbrush is amazing really love the color as well um, it's soft, it doesn't pull my hair, I have very fine hair, so it's perfect. The handheld facial cleanser is amazing. The bristles are slightly thicker than the finger ones and you have a very good grip and control, I feel like, on the motion you're creating on your face. If you're a bit like hard, like hard-handed or like a bit rough i wouldn't suggest the handheld one i would suggest the finger held one because you can be a bit more gentle with your face you have to understand that you're cleansing your face not ripping the skin off that's my put that in mind <laughs> these ones just slide on your fingers and yeah work beautifully very small uh very fine bristles and the other side has like this scraping motion uh, this is the body exfoliator a little bit rough I will not deny but it works beautifully on your feet and your knees and elbows areas that are very rough skin this is the first facial cleanser I bought 459 shillings down the drain people this is a bacteria house you cannot properly wash the bristles as much as you try to wash it, you can never get in between all of those bristles because they are so finely packed together, it's impossible. And uh, I would definitely not recommend it at all. So, big fail there. Not a good idea. Just don't get it. Then this is the scalp massage I got. It also opens up. You can rinse it out from inside. I've used this a couple of times. I picked it up at a shop at Adam's Arcade near a job it's actually on top of the java it's a beauty shop and i loved it i also bought some nail polishes there so really love this really good for massaging your head and shampooing so good ah uh, my favorite the bubble bath from pharmacy these bubble baths and the shower gel there i just use them as shower gels uh, this pharmacy shower gel, the Botanics, Botanics is like 300 and the pharmacy bubble baths is like 360. The Elysium Epsom salts is for 595. Yes, it's so ridiculous. I feel like it's the same thing if you paid for the pharmacy Botanics, except for you're getting more for your money. It does exactly the same thing. It's supposed to relax you if you've come out of the gym, hard day at work. This definite use. Epsom salt, it's there. It'll make you relax, yes. But I feel like at that price point, if you can get something similar, 
why the bubble baths the scent is amazing especially the pink one the honeysuckle flower is awesome i still have to check out the blue one so i'll definitely be picking that one up the smell is awesome if you shower with this the whole house will smell you can take my guarantee for it <laughs> i love these like when i s like shower with this everyone in the house is like where is that beautiful smell coming from <laughs> Medimix was my sister's recommendation. She bought it and then she gave it to me. If you have back acne, definitely pick it up. It is wonderful to use. Very, I just feel like it really cleans out the skin. So definitely if you have back acne, pick it up. The Oud and Bahur from Cool and Cool. I love these. They smell so good. Like in the shower, your whole shower, your whole house will smell. So I've used, you can just see how much I've used this, it's so amazing, I have to go buy more, <laughs> definitely. Dr. Teal's, 1100 guys, 1100 on this, I just feel like I could just take baby oil and be happy after a bath. I just feel like this is so pointless, I didn't feel a difference, it is just, at this point I'd say the beauty world is kind of ripping us off, not worth it. It's light, yes, it's just an oil. There's nothing really fancy about it. It doesn't make a difference. Honorable mention, the Mad For You is uh, awesome. I love this little small, it's like a very nice scent. Luron has been releasing new products and I love each and every one of them. This is a screw top, so yeah, love the bottle. So definitely go check it out. Awesome. The Karis pimple control if you got pimples you gotta get this face wash it's really good and i've been using it with the uh, facial cleanser brush the purple and the handheld one. Oh, my face feels so good and luron has the micellar water and facial toner if you're removing makeup and you want to tone your face you need to pick these up i am so proud they've done such a wonderful job i've gone through two bottles of the <laughs> toner <laughs> faster than the micellar water and it's amazing it really does a good job they are really keeping products on the high end and then i got the bodycology uh hand creams and the palm polish almond hydration cuticle oil my favorite really good stuff uh thick oil but it really does go in well i've been putting it on my ring finger and you can just see the difference awesome Look at the length difference there. I've just been applying it like every day and it really does it. And I figured out the secret to how to grow my nails longer. So definitely be sharing that. This is a glass nail file. Please use glass nail files guys. If you your natural nails don't need some metal chunk like shaving everything off. A glass one just does beautifully. It doesn't leave any ragged edges. I picked this bigger one off at Careful smaller one was from uni so they do excellent work as you can see i've been using it and it just leaves the nail um smoother and no ragged edges like it'll get clipped in your clothes or anything these are the body Collagy shea butter hand creams i went through the sweet love one so fast it's so smells so good <laughs> it's really hydrating so definitely pick it up So really quickly, I'm going to be showing you how I put on my nail oil. So I've just applied the hand cream first, definitely. So with the cuticle oil, uh, what I always do is always put a drop on the top part of the cuticle area just to make it nice and soft. It has to absorb the oil on the top. And then I put it underneath. And the thing that we don't realize is that that is very sensitive and the most the area that moisture actually enters whenever you take a shower you notice the fingertips get really crumply you start wrinkling up there because you're absorbing moisture so you want your nails to grow faster you gotta put oil underneath it and it definitely makes a difference ignore the paint on my hands <laughs> so I really love it and 
please make sure to continue watching i'll definitely keep doing reviews for other products so definitely check out and thanks for watching